Noel made the mother kill Donna Lee and call Noel when she realized that Donna Lee was dead. Judge, yeah, we have some breaking news. Constable Brown, a female officer from the 100 man police station located in Portmore, have just exposed information about the missing social media influencer Donnelly Donaldson. Based on her information, she confirmed that five other police officers was involved with the helping of Noel hiding evidence and the baby mother for Noel received information that Donnelly was at the apartment by herself that's when she took the opportunity to confront Donna Lee you know which lead to one fight that took place at the apartment you know the female constable strangled Donna Lee to her last breath you know and then eventually she end up call Noel you know and explain to him that Donna Lee is no longer among the living judge you know this is a very very sad news to hear you know based on the phone call you know that the constable female passed on to andre it sound like noel left the morning you know after he have fun with her the night you know he leave her at the apartment by herself the morning and somehow the female constable understood that donnelly is at the apartment that's how she find herself at the apartment you know i don't know fight break out you know baby mother grab her neck and choke her not knowing she also had drained the life out of Donnelly. So to all she shocked and frightened and realized say yo, Donnelly, she not nah breathe no more, heartbeat stop and then could think that she have eventually called Noel, you know, in which Noel come out of the apartment and she and Noel plan together and you know get rid of the body, you know, call a truck driver. Understood it's a garbage truck driver, you know. She call him, you know, get rid of the body, you see me? And and in the phone call, she also mentioned that Noel contact a sanitized agency, you know, a cleaning agency, you know, for sweep, wipe, clean the room, the site, you know, just to get rid of all the evidence, you know, ear strand, you know, maybe a blood mark, you know, them little thing there. And five other police officers also help with hiding evidence. Jaja. I wonder if this is a stunt by Andre or this is really actual evidence of corruption in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Judge, uh, y'all people, y'all viewers, yo, check out this journal. Judge. So you're a police officer? Yes, I work at the 100 man police station. Mm -hmm. I'm not fighting and I'm not afraid to talk. So you're talking out tonight? Yes. So this is my two cents that I have to say. I 1,000% sure that the JCS is covering up for this wicked man. Constable Brown, Constable Brown, are you aware that whatsoever allegations you make against the JCF today, your, your, your job is on the line? Listen. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. Constable am, Brown, are you willing to put your job on the line? I am a holder of a 10-year visa. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if they remove me from the JCF, which doesn't make any sense, because I come here with the intention to try to make this job a better job so that whosoever else is coming inside of this job don't have to go through all of what I have went through with these people that I'm working with. Constable Brown! That I went on and I've decided that I don't want to be a part of the corruption and because of that I'm hated. Mm. Constable Brown, tell us what is the JCF doing in this case? So let me tell you clearly now. Every evidence that has received from that apartment has been tampered out. Repeat that, Constable Brown. Every evidence from this apartment has been tampered with. My God. I'm not telling you about a small tamper. I'm telling you about a big tamper. Constable Brown, how can you say that the evidence, what evidence do you have to substantiate that the evidence has been tampered with at the apartment? 
All right, so let me tell you something. So when you get off this Facebook Live, I follow you on Instagram. I'm going to create a fake page, and I'm going to send you all the videos and information that I have in my phone. Constable Brown. Constable Brown, you are saying you have evidence that evidence in the constabulary force is being tampered with with this investigation? Let me tell you something. You see, when Donna Lee was killed at that apartment... So you're saying that Donna Lee was killed? Donna Lee was killed at the apartment and Noel was not there. Noel was not at the apartment? Noel left Donna Lee at the apartment and Noel baby mother went to the apartment because she got information that Donna Lee was at the apartment from the night. Who and Noel baby mother went to the apartment? She went to the apartment and they had an altercation there. And it happened that Noel baby mother killed Donna Lee and called Noel when she realized that Donna Lee was dead. How did she kill Donna Lee? So, it is happened that she strangled Donna Lee to death. Constable Brown, how, how long have you been a member of the JCF? So, I've been a member of the JCF for seven years, and it has been a seven rough and stressful years. I've went overseas and I wasn't going to return, but I came back for only one reason, and that was because my mother was sick. But I have tell myself that if this man don't go down, something is wrong in this country. My God. Constable Brown, you, you know that you have now broke a case. On what mer merits do you can you confirm that Donnelly was strangled? Listen, Noel, best friend that you showed his picture since night, he and one of my fellow co-worker that we are close is close to him and he confirmed everything when we were reasoning on duty last week friday my god so you're saying that constable williams confided in another constable yes and confirmed that donnelly was strangled to death by kathy and smith yes and they both tape her up into a garbage bag. They remove the settee chickens and they place her in the settee and let the truck man dispose of her body. I was trying to get where did the body dispose, but they refused to give that information. Mighty God, Jamaica breaking news. Constable Brown, what's your name again? Constable Brown. Constable Brown is confirming tonight jamaica that she heard a confession from constable williams that kathy and smith listen i don't want you to take me for a joke i'm going to send you the video of the file that mr williams received of them putting it in a trailer the report that they got. And what you did not know is this after they took Donna Lee, there was five police officers that went to the apartment to help Noel and his baby mother to clean up the mess. What you said? There was five police officers apart from Noel and his baby mother that went to the apartment on Chelsea Avenue to clean up their mess. My God. My God. The truck man also knew what he was going to dispose. So he asked Noel for extra cash. How much did Noel give the man? I, I don't know the figure that he got. But I was confirmed that when he found out that it was a body in this couch, he told Noel that he's going to do this dirty work. He needs to get extra cash. My God. Are other so so.
so weird jesus you know that you have now exposed the nastiness of the jamaica constabulary force and i will continue i will continue and as soon as i leave jamaica i'm telling you that the jcf would be a mess when i'm finished with them so you are willing to now expose other dirt on the jcf that's what you're saying as soon as I leave Jamaica, Constable Brown. One reason why I'm calling in tonight. I am a mother. I have sisters. I have mother and I have aunts. And what they did to this little girl was very much unkind. Very much unkind. And I'm telling you that Jesus will fix them. You hear me? Jesus will fix them. I'm a woman of God. I'm a woman of God and I cannot keep up with dirty works. Mm. I'm a woman of God. God will protect me, keep me, guide me, and I'm going to send you everything on the 